There are six conditions under the law that allow members to access their money. The first condition is if members have reached the age of 55, regardless of whether they are still in employment or not, they can access their money. The second condition is when they are age 50 and they've been out of employment for one year, they are allowed to withdraw their savings. The third condition is uh, when they pass on, their survivors can come and access their money. The fourth condition is they have immigrated out of Uganda and uh, they are returning to their own country or they have permanently left Uganda and are going to contribute to a scheme where NSSF is equivalent or they have even returned to their country, they can leave. The fifth condition is they go and work for a company uh, which has a scheme, uh, a pension scheme, such as NSSF or is even superior, then the minister has the authority to exempt that scheme and therefore that member can withdraw from NSSF and get their money. The last condition is the one that we are utilizing. It is called the invalidity benefit. In other words, the fund, uh, uh, the people who set up the law that runs the fund, um, saw a condition where a member might still be uh, working, a member might still be working, but gets an ailment which partially incapacitates them or permanently incapacitates them, and therefore they need to get money to be able to resolve that problem uh, while they are still working and then they can continue to save or they can completely withdraw from the scheme. So COVID is such a condition. COVID can provide you permanent incapacitation, it can provide you temporary incapacitation, or it can be so bad that it requires you to get money to be able to pay for that medication. That decision is normally made by our doctor. Uh, we refer that matter to them. And if the doctor sees that indeed this patient uh, is in a situation which gives them perman uh, permanent or temporary or impartial, uh, impartial capacitation, then they are allowed to withdraw money from the NSSF.